finding parts, subtracting, whole minus part equals part. We already learned we add or multiply parts together to get a whole. Part plus part equals whole. Part plus part plus part equals whole. We subtract if we take away a part. We can also subtract to find a part for how much more do we need. If we've gone 30 miles and the whole trip is 90, we subtract 90 minus 30 to find out there are 60 miles to go. Is that all there is? Wait, wait, there's more. We use subtraction if we are comparing two amounts, otherwise known as finding the difference. The later mileage shows 950 more miles on Clyde's car. Subtracting tells us the part of the miles he drove between the first and the second picture. The bigger number is the whole. The smaller number is a part. The difference is the other part. Another difference. Carla is 60 inches tall. Gravity is 20 inches tall. How much taller is Carla than her adorable dog? Even though we're talking about Carla and a dog, we're comparing inches to inches. Subtract same from same. She is 40 inches taller. Another road trip. Let's compare the miles being driven each day on Murphy's diving log. How much more did Murphy drive on day four than day one? What's the difference between Monday and Thursday? The whole Thursday's 250 miles, the part. Monday's 195 miles. Subtract to find the missing part. Whole minus part equals part. 250 minus 195 is 55. 250 minus 55 equals 195. Part plus part equals whole. 195 plus 55 equals 250. Summing it up again. Three reasons to subtract. Take away. I had 12 eggs and I threw four of them out the window. How many do I have left? To get to the hole, I have eight eggs. I need 20 to make those pies. How many more do I need? And finding the difference, I had eight eggs yesterday. Today I have four. How many more did I have yesterday than today? All subtraction. You're subtracting the same thing from the same kind of thing. Eggs from eggs, parts of gravity from parts of gravity, pie from pie. And the legal stuff. Yes, you can share this.